What's going on guys, this is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about the S-TAC blowout pouch. This is a medical pouch. It's also called the DST blowout kit or blowout pouch. And uh, what I want to talk to you today about is this actual pouch. And I've had this for a while and I've used it a few times out at the range. And I can tell you for sure this is definitely made to last. I'm going to go over some of the uh, overview, you know, the 10,000 feet kind of view stuff. Then we'll get into some of the practical uh, uses for it and some of the things I think that can be improved upon. The first uh, things are the fact that how this is actually on the pouch or on the uh, plate carrier or your chest rig or whatever you're mounting this on. On the back here, so first off you have this uh, design where you have it Velcroed on and then you have something that goes over the front of it with a buckle that's gonna secure it in there to make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. The buckle it's used is, I'd say, of a medium grade as far as how easy it is to disengage. Uh, for something like this, I would definitely like to see a buckle that's definitely hardcore and, you know, I wouldn't say difficult, but definitely has more tension to it. So I think they can upgrade the buckle a little bit. As far as the actual, you know, practicality of it, they do use a lot of Velcro, so there isn't really a super need to have that buckle um, be something that's super stout. But still, you know, given the fact that on the battlefield, you know, you are in all kinds of different, you know, positions and environments, and having something come loose like this is definitely going to be something you do not want to have happen. So let's look at the actual uh, pouch here itself. On the front, you have a tourniquet band or two tourniquet bands here where you can put your tourniquet. It's made for a cat tourniquet. This is a uh, soft. Uh, tack T or soft T uh, tourniquet so you can still put that on there uh, however you want I usually run it on the bottom and have it held in with the uh, webbing right here it's normally how I run it but I put it on here just for the uh, review here so you can pull that out rather fast as you can see and uh, that's why they have it like that the one thing I really like about this is the fact that you know getting these off of the velcro you know in a time of uh, need can be rather difficult if you're in a precarious position this has an over sized uh, grab handle you know if you have gloves on or something that oversized grab handle is going to be great so i really uh, like the fact that it has that and it's made of great you know heavy duty material here you have your two zippers which are oversized zippers so when it comes to actually taking uh, the zippers down to get into the inside it's relatively easy and it's definitely smooth and uh, fast because it has the oversized zippers and what i'm doing today is i'm going to actually compare this to the uh, soe gear medical pouch this is their i think it's called the quick or compact medical pouch i have a review on this one as well and this is the one i use a lot just because of how much um, you know i like the design of it and the fact that uh, you know it also has that quick tear off capability but i'm going to compare it to this and show you that these are pretty much the same size as far as you know size goes this one's a little bit longer this one's a little bit wider um, but overall the dimensions as far as the actual capacity are pretty much the same as far as what you can put in them you know exactly the same you know in this one right here what i have I'll go ahead and go into it i have my uh, compression bandage shears got some tape I got um, in, in behind here is where I have a chest seal. Over here I have some uh, uh, quick cock, quick cock, yeah right, quick clot uh, combat gauze, and then some other uh, things are in there. You know, so that all fits in there relatively well. And the thing that it does very well is it, you know, it becomes, it's compact. Um, and you can fit all that stuff in here, it's just set up a little bit differently. And how it's set up differently is you have two bands at the top right here, and at the bottom here you have a pouch where you can hold uh, your you know, compression bandage, your chest seal, your shears, and I have some combat gauze, some quick clot combat gauze in here as well. And as you can see, you know, it comes out relatively fast. The one thing, you know, after using this and looking into, you know, if in a situation where you need to get this stuff quickly, having a pouch sometimes isn't the best thing. So what I've come up with as far as, you know, one way I think they can improve on this is actually making this Velcro. Um, and having Velcro on the edges here. That way when you get into the pouch, you can tear this pouch, uh, this mesh pouch forward, and then you can get to your stuff very quickly. Um, I think that would definitely you know, be a much quicker way. You know, you unzip it, you pull this down, you tear this forward because it has the Velcro, and then you're able to get into it you know, a lot easier than having to dig in here and, and get what you need when everything's jammed in there. So I think that's one thing they can improve on as far as the actual functionality of it. Um, but as far as the actual design, as far as, um, you know, the construction, the construction is, you know, second to none. S-Tac makes great stuff, as everyone knows. You can see the uh, stitching here. I'll get a better picture of that. You can see the stitching is, you know, very well done. 1000D Cordura. It's definitely, you know, heavy duty and going to last a very long time. I like the extra long uh, pull straps because when you're in a situation of having to get a medical uh, pouch, 
you know, off and, and get into it, having those extra long straps right there is definitely gonna make it a lot easier for you. So overall, you know, for $50, I think they could definitely improve a little bit on this, how quick you get into the contents of it. Obviously on this side, when you have the bands there, it's gonna be a lot easier to get into that stuff. But I think right here, and, and, and S-Tac's not the only company where they have these pouches right here that are mesh. I've seen other companies as well, like Tactical Tailor. And I think, you know, to improvise, and maybe someone can patent it, or I don't know, but you know, if you put Velcro or some sort of a quick release on the sides here to get into your actual stuff, I think that definitely would be uh, of benefit to uh, everyone that uses these pouches. So with it being made in the United States of America, you know it's gonna run a little bit high. This is around 45 to 50 dollars for this pouch. But given the fact that it's a quick release, and given the fact that you know it has a lot of really good stuff built into it with the grab handle, uh, you know the outside here you have uh, the ability to put your uh, uh, your uh, blood type and uh, etc. Right here, you know I like that, and I like the fact that over the top here it's not just webbing; it's actually this nice wide um, nylon uh, material over the top, um, and the fact that you can put your tourniquet on the front, I like that. Like I said, normally I'll run mine actually on the bottom like this. That way, you know, I get to it really quickly and easily. And I don't have to worry about straps. You know, I unbuckle this and I can get to my tourniquet super quick. So if you guys are looking for a great USA made uh, medical pouch, I definitely think that this S-Tac uh, blowout medical pouch is one that you should take a look at. You know, it's on the medium size. It's not super small, uh, but it's definitely not large where you can carry a ton of medical stuff. So if you're just looking for something for, you know, on your plate carrier, on your chest rig, uh, kind of a medical pouch. This is definitely one I would recommend. So if you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and let me know. If you guys have any Aztec uh, gear or this particular uh, blowout pouch, go ahead and let me know, or uh, better yet, make a video about it. And until next time, later. It's just their uh, quick medical pouch uh, or, or GP pouch or 